Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for red velvet cookies with cream cheese icing. So let me show you what you're going to need, and as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. For the cookie portion, you are going to need a package of sugar cookie mix, you're going to need softened butter, a room temperature egg and room temperature sour cream, some red food dye, and unsweetened cocoa. For the icing, you're going to need cream cheese, which is softened, softened butter, powdered sugar, and vanilla. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by combining our sugar cookie mix and our unsweetened cocoa. And I'm just gonna whisk this together until it's all combined. So now I'm going to add my softened butter, my sour cream, my egg, and my food color. And I'm just gonna stir this up until it is well combined. Okay, so I've got my dough all mixed up and it's a soft dough. And I did get in there with my hands just to make it a little bit easier. I've got a one inch cookie scoop here and just gonna scoop out some dough, roll it up, and then just place it on the cookie sheet. So these are ready for the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes or until that center is set. All right, so while our cookies are baking, let's work on that cream cheese icing in my bowl. I've got my softened cream cheese and butter. I just added in a little bit of vanilla. I'm just gonna mix this up. And I'm just gonna add in the powdered sugar a little bit at a time. So I just took the second batch of cookies out of the oven, which are these right here. And these I flattened because I forgot these cookies, they really don't spread much. So however you put them on the cookie sheet is how they stay. So this is the first batch of cookies right here. And like I said, this is the second batch. So I'm just going to let these cool completely and then we'll get them all iced up. Okay, so the cookies are cool enough to ice and I am just going to put a large dollop of that icing right on top. So the cookies are all iced up and then I took an extra cookie and just kind of crumbled it on top. Of course, you don't have to do that at all. And then here are the uh, rest of the cookies. I didn't ice all of them. Howard's not a big icing fan. But as you can see, this is such a quick and easy recipe. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.